Old Pulteney 17, 46 ABV, about a buck 25 if you can find it. Some say this is the best Old Pulteney yet. Let's find out. What's up, guys? Hey, guys, it is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on a scotch journey to help you, 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 and you mm -hmm. with your next scotch purchase. And if you might be lucky to find this one. Maybe. 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 Still possibly. Maybe. What's the deal with this one, Sean? All right. Let's talk old Pulteney. We're late to the and game. I'm poor. Yeah, we're a little late to the <laughs> oh, game on this gosh. one. Here's, here's where we're at, though. We've got uh, a bottle of the old Pulteney. She's only 17. Cue <laughs> the um, <Cutie> music. <laughs> <laughs> this particular bottle has been discontinued as of June of 2017. So that's Almost a while ago. Right. However, there are still some on the shelves. I've actually really? seen some. Um, we all have a search bottle. finds quite a few. Um, you're looking at a buck twenty to a buck forty. Uh, US. US, but it, there is still some out there and available. That's in January uh, of 2020. So why are we reviewing a bottle that has been discontinued? Well. To be perfectly fair, uh, we didn't start doing this until far too late, apparently. <laughs> apparently we missed a boat in the 70s. But uh, we've had a lot of comments about this particular bottling from Old Pulteney yep. that everybody has said, you know, it's if you it. like XYZ from this distillery, you have to try the 17. Yep. It's ridiculously good. And so we were fortunate enough to acquire a bottle. And we thought that we would share our findings, mostly because everybody talks about this bottle. Yep. It's kind of iconic. And so we kind of wanted to see what the deal was, to be honest. So Old Pulteney is in the town of Wick, Wick, Wick Scotland, Wick. way up north. Uh, it was the northernmost distillery in Scotland on the mainland until uh, Wolfburn came along a few mm -hmm. years ago. So it, it held that title for... Quite a while. 150 years, we'll call it. Wow. <laughs> it's a long time. Uh, 120. It's up there. Yeah. So it, it's pretty north. Uh, the, it was only accessible by sea for a long time. And they had to ship the barley in and then ship the whiskey out. Uh, a lot of, I think, sardine fishing that went on there. Uh, you know, back in the day. Like because of anchovies, remote, maybe? Yeah, because of its remote location, there's an interesting story about their still <laughs> and how yep. it got chopped off and the shape of their still. It, it's a very interesting distillery. Right. Um, and, and they produce really quality whiskey. This particular bottle, um, from what I was able to understand about the maturation process of it, They've got some whiskey that is maturing in ex-bourbon, and then they have a portion of whiskey that is solely matured in sherry, and then they're married Do they married say? together. I, I didn't see a, an exact, you know, okay. nobody wants to give away the game, right? right. Uh, so there, there wasn't an exact percentage of, you know, exactly 23% of it is sherry. Well, uh, they didn't versus, say Pedro or Olo. So we uh, it was, it was, I believe they had a mixture. Okay. Um, Okay. From what I saw, so it was, it was PX and Oloroso. It's forty six percent ABV, natural coloring, all of that kind of yeah. stuff. So um, I'm interested to try it. It's got a nice color, nice 46 golden color. Forty six percent non chill filtered. So yeah. So so we recorded this, and in, in, if you didn't hear earlier, in January of 2020. But Opoli has a whole different core lineup right now. They've moved, they've changed all their lineups from the 1721s to the what the 12, 15. 1825 right, are the cores yes. now? And that was mid 2019 is when they yeah. changed that. Yeah. So, so, but these are still around. I mean, you yeah. said they're so this, easy this is still, you know, available on the shelf. You can still find these. You can still find quite a few of the old lineup is still out there. The 21 is pretty hard. Uh, to find. The 21's getting a little harder to find because there wasn't quite as much of it. But the 17, um, mm. I, I mean, it, it is still out there. So if you. It smells like old the, Pulteney. Eh. <laughs> depending on how we feel about this, you may want to go buy a bottle. Right, it, it does. My first note is I was like, uh, I love old Pulteney. Pulteney. Yeah. When you say malt, yeah. I think of old Pulteney. I really do. There's too. just something very comforting about. It is. This distillery and and the whiskey that they make. I don't know. They, you know. they don't they don't blow you out with either yeah. heavily peated or they blow you out with too much sherry. It's kind of just this this warm hug. <laughs> well, I always get just a hint of like they're right on oh, yeah. the the sea. Yes, they are. And you get a hint, just a little hint yep. of that that brine. salty briny yeah. quality yeah. to it. I agree. And and on this one, 
Something I don't get as much on the normal uh, OPs is a little bit of butterscotch. Just a, a I definitely get heavy, heavy floral notes on it. Yeah. You get a little bit of mineral, but I think that may be the um, the brine coming mm -hmm. through. I think yeah. you're right on that. Hmm. Well, let's go in and find out. It's got... There's a little sweetness on there, yeah. It's got a nice, sweet, but not overdone malt character on the front end. But the back end has that mineral quality to it that you mm -hmm. were talking about. It's it's very interesting. It, oh, yeah. You it can, makes my mouth water. And you can chew on it. Like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot, he said. <laughs> like I, I, like a unspecified amount, but more than normal, I can tell you that. It makes me want to have another sip. Man, that's it's since, like it's almost it, it almost has that flavor of uh, like rock salt, you know that mm. it's kind of a it's not a clean salt, you know it's not like pure table salt iodized. It's kind of got that grainy metallic kind of um, minimalness yeah. to it. I'm wow. let that first sip sit there for a while and, and, and I gotta explore um, the nose more. I think multi huh. multi wood pepper. As there is a spiciness to it. Now I mean. The, the, the ex bourbon, this is, we're talking about American oak here and then ex sherry, right? Yep. That's it. There's no European oak in there? Not that I saw. No. I just. That's an interesting. The finish goes a long way. It does. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. But it's a really, it's a different kind of finish. So. I said floral. It, interesting enough, there's there's like layers of floral. Like I mean, if I really get my nose in there, I mean, I smell different types of flowers. It's not just like a mm -hmm. a generic floral note. It's like for a second, I almost smell rose, and then for a, a few seconds later, I smell something. I, it's I don't know. That's what I'm getting on the palate. So that so yeah, that, me the, too. the you know I taste the uh, the multi coming up, but there was something else that was transitioning between that that multi hit and that kind of minerally salty finish. That I couldn't really put my finger on, and I think that that rose, that floral, you know, smell maybe what's what's doing that. You know, I agree. A little I, bit I had of the same thing. A little bit of green grass in there. I get um, obviously that op malt. I just that's that's signature, right? And that foundational for op. Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely. Their, that's their, um, that's their, yeah, that's their thing. Forty-six ABV. So I added a little water, and the nose did dramatically diminish to me on this one. Be very I, careful. I hit yeah. it with some water. Like, I hit it with some water. Yeah. I, I get, uh, it, it's got, it's letting me get into some more of that floral character. I, I get some lemongrass now on there, um, which I didn't get before the water. And it's got like a, like a clover and honey kind of thing going on now, too, on the nose. I'm getting more of the grassiness. I'm not sure I'm getting lemongrass, but. Yeah, it's definitely more, a little more grassy than it was before with the water. There's Malcolm's signature right there. Guy can make some whiskey. He signed every bottle. <laughs> wow. A lot of work. That is a lot of work. His hands got to be killing him. All right, so now let's see what this water does to this just a, a little bit. I think it actually balances out a little better. It doesn't have those, these kind of high peaks in the center. It just kind of rolls it better now. It is dilute. It is more dilute. You have to be really careful on that. Yeah, you do. Um, all right, I... I don't think I put that much on, and, and it's definitely you know. softened it almost too much a little bit. Yep. I don't think so. Really? It's, but it's coming yeah, so out. So what are you getting differently? Uh, so it it took away a little bit of that minerally salt quality mm -hmm. on the finish, which was it was unique for about two sips. And then after that, I was like, mm, I think I'm done with that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'd never really had that in a scotch before. I'd never really experienced that finish. Mm -hmm. And it I don't know if it just took me off guard and I wasn't quite prepared for it or if it just wasn't wasn't hitting on uh, the spot that I was looking yep. for tonight, but it was it's very different. Um, the the second and third sips that I took neat, uh, mm -hmm. the spiciness came through. It was like a a mild pepper and maybe some clove uh, <laughs> quality, pepper. but it it kind of it came in, it built up, it went away, but that underlying like mineral quality just kind of had a had the same level right. the whole time, and just kind of hung out there. It was it's interesting. Man, you can chew on this stuff for a while. Yeah, it's definitely got a long, long, long finish. 
but a lot spicier, a lot more spicy than White I anticipated. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. The clove definitely with the water come out mm -hmm. in, the, in the nose and on the palate. Um, mm -hmm. I just, I, mean, I wasn't expecting that much of a spicy note here. I don't know where it's coming from. Who's ready? Anybody? I'm close. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of min uh, you know, I'm, so when I think of like new b bourbon or ex bourbon and sherry, I would think that there'd be more vanillas, um, you know, I, and, and some of that sh those sherry notes that I'm not really getting here. No. And I think you get a little bit on wait, neat, you get a little more sherry notes neat kind of in the, the back nose. If you really do a deep draw on the nose, you can pull some of those out. But it, when you added water, I'm afraid I lost all that. Yeah, the water, the water brought a few things forward, but I lost a few things that I enjoyed. Seventeen too. years in barrels, and it's this kind of sedate. It really surprises me. All right, so I, I'll, I'll kick this off. I'll, I'm struggling with a number. Maybe I'll talk my way into it. Mm. So, on the nose, neat, and actually with water, because the difference between neat and, and water for me was just subtle. The water just tamed it. It just softened it. It didn't. I didn't get anything new or different. It was just much softer. Um, I, yeah, I did get a little bit of clove in with with water, but um, typical OP. You definitely get that malt, you know, foundation. There's some floral. I kind of enjoyed that the layering of the floral. Like there's different stuff in there, but then it turned into some grass. Maybe lemongrass. I got green. Um, so it, and that was good. It was it was. What I expected out of an OP, honestly. I mean, it definitely blindfolded. You smell it, and you're like, hey, if you've had any OPs, you're saying, that's an OP. Yeah. Um, on the palate and finish, I was really surprised with the spiciness of it. I still can't figure out where all that spice is coming from. Um, neat, it was just really spicy, peppery. Watered, it turned into a little bit more of a clove spice, white pepper. That's all. That's good. Really long mouth feel. It's viscous. It, it's got some legs on it. Even with water swirling around it, it's just it's sticking to the side of the glass. Um, but nothing wowing. I, I'm trying to gauge this to some of the older, other OPs, and to me, I don't. I, this isn't the, my favorite OP. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's, I, there's others that I'm thinking out there that top this one from my memory, anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So to me, this is middle of the road OP. This is you know price point for 17, 120, maybe a little on the higher year old, side. 17, 18 Although I but it's say, a discontinued. It's a uh, right. So. I think it's worth having a bottle. I actually do have an open bottle on my bar. I think it's worth having because it is discontinued and I'm an OP fanboy level, you know, Pulteney. So it's good. It's not disappointing in any way, shape, or form. I'm stuck between a 2.5 and a 3. I'm, I'm going to go 2.5. I'm just going to stick right yeah. there, 2.5. Um, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm glad we tried it, especially since it's gone, right? And I'm sorry that it's been so, that we're late mm -hmm. to this game. But at the end of the day, I think it's, you know, it shoots down the middle for me as far as what it is. So for me tonight, this is a little more disappointing than I would have expected. I was I was thinking it was better than this. I, I don't remember if I've had this bottle before. You know, obviously it was opened. But it just didn't have anything that really stuck out to me. I think it was by far best neat. It had a lot more, you know, sweetness to it. It had more complexity, I think. when I, when I And I didn't add a whole lot of water to it either. It just it just doesn't have it. So I probably should have re-fortified to, to give it a good do. Um, it's, it's not particularly my wheelhouse because it doesn't have a lot of rich flavors to it, but I think that that's not necessarily a bad thing in this whiskey because if you added too much of any powerful flavor to it, you'd blow everything else out because it is kind of subtle in the way it, true. it trickles along in those different palettes. Um, I'm going to give this a two tonight because it is pretty pricey right now, and it at a buck twenty a bottle, um, there's a lot of good whiskeys that, are, that would be less than that for me right now. Um, it, to my palate, um, again, nothing wrong. There's no off-putting flavors. There's no sourness. There's no, you know, just stink to it. There's no, nothing in there that you would say, oh yeah, I don't want that. It's just like, it's good. It's a two, but it's not a wow two five or higher. So that's where I'm going with it tonight. This is tough. I had a hard time with this one. I agree with both of you guys. Um, a lot more with Mark. I think I think what you're getting out of this one, I, you know. Neat is definitely the way I would encourage you to drink this. I think with the water, it's still great. You still have that long finish with it, but it does take away some of that maltiness I, I was really getting on the neat side. We talked about the pepper. We talked about a few other things. The one thing, guys, that I, I will say that I think I'm missing from this compared to some of the old, all the other old Pulteneys that we've had is it's just not as 
sweet. Is is a hint of sweet than the other ones I normally get, mm -hmm. which I'm not getting okay. in this brand. So it's more of a malty taste to it. Um, I'm, I'm struggling because I love OP, um, and the price of this one is. It's a little high, but you know, compared to an 18, 17, well, I don't have 17, 18s out there that you see out there, it's not that bad. Um, but I just can't, I'm not really enjoying it like I do on the other OP. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna go between two, two, five, two, 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 five. I'm gonna go two, five. I think it's still, <laughs> still a good scotch. It's definitely above average. <clears throat> I just, I am a little biased, but it's just not giving me everything I want, but it's still a really good scotch to chew on for a while. So if you're wanting that malty t flavor. Sure. This is still a good good option. Round us out. All right, man. Finish this, bring us home. I, uh, when I watered it down, I, I hit it pretty hard. Um, and, and I've been trying, normally when I water down a whiskey, it's a couple of drops. But I've, I've started to note that if I water stuff down just a little bit heavier than normal, I think I can get to more flavor a little bit. Um, right. So I hit it pretty heavy, and, and it... To Mark's point, it didn't really change that much. Okay. I mean, it, it was just more of a washed out version of what it was at the higher ABV. Uh, so I finished that that little dram off and, and just poured a, a little refresher glass <laughs> just to just to kind of go back and, and kind of refresh my memory. And this time around on the nose, I got butterscotch, which I didn't get the first time. Um, and the, the spiciness of it <clears throat> was kind of a little more intertwined with that mineral quality. Um, but it's it's just a little different, and I think it took me off guard. It wasn't it wasn't what I was expecting when I poured a glass of old pulp. Mm -hmm. You know what right. I mean? Right. And and so I guess I had something in my head that I you know in my file cabinet that I go to when I think old pulp. Right. And this one isn't quite that. You know, it's it's just a little bit different. And I've had some distilleries where you do that. You know, you go and you you try one age statement, and you're like, huh. That doesn't taste like any of these other ones that I tried that I liked. And then you go to like the one after it, and it goes back to the ones before it. And you're like, what happened at this year? Why would you do that? You know, yeah. how did you do that? I'll and and I think that this one kind of is in that genre. It's it's old Pulteney esque. You know what I mean? Like it's it's got some of the qualities that I like about old Pulteney, but it's kind of like just off to the side, and it's got some things going on that I I wasn't prepared for coming into the review so piece of cork floating in there i, I don't yep. i don't necessarily think that it's i don't think it's a bad whiskey <laughs> um it's just i'm trying to wrap my head around this as an old pulteney i guess is it's where i'm is where i'm yeah, so number, i'm gonna say two five um I, I enjoyed it and i thought that the the mineral quality and the spiciness of it was kind of a, a, a different thing so yeah. i mean i it's it's a unique whiskey um, it is a little more expensive because it's out of production, and sure. if you can find one, it kind of is what it is. And, you know, to be honest, don't be like us and see that bottle of whiskey on the shelf and have the means to buy it and don't buy it because you you're going to regret it because right. it's going to be gone the next time that's you go true. back. You can always buy that other one that's being mass produced and still in production. That's true. But I, <clears throat> I'm curious now, 18 is on the shelves. 18 is part of core, and it's a year older than this. I, I would love to pour a glass. It's one more. We're going to on, it's one more. on Thursday. We are? Yeah. Ooh. Do we have an 18? Sitting right behind you. I like the way oh, you think. You? You? So I'm actually really interested. <laughs> well, I like that. See how great of an idea I just had? <laughs> it's on Drew's shelf. We'll I'm interested to hear you guys' comments about this one because we have heard a lot of comments that people really say this is some of the best LP that they've had, the 17 range. Wow. So I'm curious to see what you guys think about this one as well because, I mean, I think we've given it above average for most of us, um, but it's just, just missing something for what we normally look for in LP. Yep. Sure, I, but it is OP. Uh, there's no doubt any of us would not be able to nail this one. Two five two two five two five two point three seven five, baby. Really? Yeah. Old Pony, seventeen year. Roger that. Cheers. Fine. Hey, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Subscribe. Check us on Thursday Night Lives podcast. Instagram, Twitter, and hit the Patreon. like button. That's the most important. Yeah, if you hit the Thanks. like button, we'd Subscribe. appreciate it. But check us out and be a patron if you really like what you see. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.